Welcome back to Our Kids Online. My name is Andrea and this is... I'm Bagel. So we're so happy to have you today. We're actually starting a brand new series called Wonderful. And we're going to be learning about how amazing God is through the book of Psalms. Wow. Aren't that, you excited? I am super exciting. It's an so awesome excited. topic. All right. So we also wanted to, because it's a new month, mm -hmm. give a very happy, happy, loud shout to all of our August birthdays on the count of three. You want to join me? I'll join you. Okay. One, two, three. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Okay, cool. And then, because it's also the first weekend of the month, we're going to be doing communion at the end. So make sure that you gather your communion elements so you can do any kind of juice if you have crackers or bread at home, and then you can join us after. But Bagel, do you want to pray us into today's service? I would love to. Let's All pray. Right. Close our eyes, bow our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for bringing us here together for another episode of Our Kids. God, I just pray that you help us uh, learn the story and the message you have for us as we dive deep into the book of Psalms. Thank you, Lord, for all the things that you're doing for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. See you soon. Hey everyone, today's Bible verse comes from Psalms 139, verse 14. Are you ready? Here we go. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. All right, very good. Now this time I'm going to go really slow and you repeat after me. Are you ready? Psalms 139, verse 14. Here we go. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Psalms 139, 14. Okay, this time, let's do it together. Are you ready? I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Psalms 139.14. One more time, just so we make sure we have it. Okay, here we go. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Very good, everybody. That's Psalms 139.14. See you later. Oh, I'm here. I'm here. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow. Hosted by Carl, where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. Sorry I'm late, y'all, but it finally came. Yes, it is finally here. I can't believe it. I've been waiting forever. Wait. Do you not know what this is? Oh, you're in for quite the treat. This right here is the latest technology. Tippity top of all the tech. This, my fellow chicken nuggets, is the VRW. The VR Wonderful. For those of you who do not know what this is, let me clue you in. It says here on the box, the VR Wonderful device has the ability to show you all the greatest and most beautiful natural wonders of the world. And not just show you, but teach you some of the most wonderful things that God has created. Now my best friend Jada sent it to me because apparently she wants me to broaden my horizons. Whatever that means. Now I'm not one for trying out new things, but this sounds pretty cool. And I'm always up to travel. Ready to open it? Here we go. Wow, <laughs> look at this thing. This is slick. I, I bet you this is what robots wear at night to keep the light from getting in their eyes. But where's the... Oh no! I think it's missing parts. Oh man, it is missing parts. There's no way this is going to work. Let me call Jada. <clears throat> call Jada. Hey Carl. Jada, it's so good to see you. I was just telling the kids that I smell like wrong dog. What? Wrong dog? Yep. What's... 
What's wrong, dog? Oh, nothing major. It's just the thing that you sent me is missing some parts. Wait, where? What, what are you talking about? The VR Wonderful, I got it, but it's missing the wings. How am I supposed to see anything wonderful if this thing can't fly? <laughs> hey, what's so funny? I ain't kidding. When you return this thing? Carl, the VR stands for virtual reality. You put the headset on and there's tiny screens in there that help you feel like you're actually there. Wait, so I'm not actually leaving? No. But I already packed up everything and told my mama it's gonna be gone for like a month. Sorry, at least you can try it out now though. True, so how does it work? Pretty simple actually. All you gotta do is put the headset on and say rubber baby buggy bumpers. Okay. Rubber bugger baby dumpers. Rubber dubber TB rubber dubber turpers. Can you see it yet? I don't think so, maybe it's broke. <gasps> oh my goodness. What is this? What are you seeing? It's like blue and green lights in the sky. But it's nighttime. It's like if you took a giant box of glittery shoelaces and shook them in the sky. Oh, that's the Aurora Borealis. The Aurora Borealis? Aurora Borealis? Also known as the Northern Lights. Aren't they pretty? Jada, besides the menu at Chick-fil-A, <laughs> this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. How they make this? Who? NASA. Was it NASA or was it Disney? This seems like something Disney might have done. It's just so beautiful. Or this was like edited on some like computer for like a show or something. Carl, you know God made this, right? Excuse me? God created the Northern Lights. Humans can create some really cool stuff, but you know, God makes the stuff that really is wonderful. That is incredible. I can hardly believe it. I had no idea God created something so magnificent. Right? That's why I wanted to get this for you, so you could continue to realize not only just how great God is, but encourage you to keep worshiping God as well. Thanks, Jada. I mean, I guess we can kind of all forget to worship God sometimes. But to be completely honest, I have a hard time understanding what that looks like. You know, like, worshiping God. Oh, yeah, I totally understand. I like to think of worship like this, to show appreciation and love toward God. So that may look like praying, singing, dancing, resting, or even our thoughts. There are millions of ways we can honor and give glory to God through our life. I guess you're right. I think that's amazing. <laughs> this is so cool. I wonder how those lights do that. Well, it's complicated, but it has a lot to do with the sun. The sun? Yep, there are particles that travel all the way from the sun to the earth. Some of those particles bounce off the earth's atmosphere, but some peek through. That leads to the brilliant colors floating through the sky. Never knew God could do that, did you? I love it. It's stuff like this that makes me understand Psalms more. I, I think it's pronounced Psalms, but go ahead. Like in Psalms 31, it says, From heaven the Lord looks down and sees all mankind. From his dwelling place he watched all who live on earth. He who forms the hearts of all, who considers everything they do. Oh, I like that a lot. How cool is it that God watches over all of us? I don't know about you, but that makes me feel better. Right? That's what I'm saying. Seeing those northern lights made me kind of think, Maybe God does have everything under control, even though my life can feel very out of control sometimes. Like a baby goat driving a monster truck, you know? I think so. It's easy to get distracted and forget that having trust and faith in God is the most important thing we can do in this life. I mean, think about it. Even though there are things like the northern lights, oceans, mountains, animals, planets, and galaxies, in God's eyes, we are more important than all of that. That makes no sense. I mean, I know I'm beautiful, but I don't know if I'm more beautiful than the Borealis. Aurora Borealis. That's what I said. <laughs> right. Anyway, Carl, the Psalm 139 tells us, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. We also can't forget what it says in Psalm 33. We wait and hope for the Lord. God is our help and our shield. God isn't a shield. God is, well, God. 
Well, yes, of course, but what the writer of this psalm is telling us is that just like a shield, God will keep us safe and protect us. Even when things don't look great, God is reminding us through this psalm that we can always put our hope in God. And what better way to worship than to express this hope that God gives us? You know what? You're absolutely right. I love that. Sometimes there's things around us that just seem hopeless. Like maybe things can't be made right or like fixed, but... Verse 5 reminds us of how full the earth is for His love. It reminds us that God loves helping restore things, setting things right. The Lord loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of His unfailing love. You got it. Thanks, Jana. So, um, do you want to try? Um, no, it's okay. I don't need to. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Hey all you wonderful kids, today's big idea is so special. And it is we can worship by putting our hope in God. So let's shout it out to the Northern Lights. So ask an adult, we have to face north, which way north is? We have to, I think, I think it's this way for me, okay? So I'm gonna face this way, all right? All right, are you ready? One, two, three. We can worship by putting our hope in God. Woo! Excellent job, everybody. Great job. Now make sure you do not miss next week's episode of Grow TV because Carl is going to be learning about a special mountain. All right? We'll see you then. Bye, kids. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Grow TV. This month, we are learning from the book of Psalms. Did you know that the book of Psalms is full of prayers and praise to God? And you know what else? As I read Psalms, I became full of hope. Now, hope isn't a wishful feeling like dreaming about ice cream for dinner is. Hope is more like a peaceful place where you know everything is going to be okay because God is near and because there's nothing that can keep us away from God's love. You know, many people live always afraid because they don't understand that. God wants you to put your hope in Jesus and feel His love, His peace, joy, and strength. And it starts with being saved. Romans 10 verse 9 says that if you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and that He died on the cross for your sins and that God raised Him from the dead and that that very moment, you will be saved. So, if you're ready to say yes to Jesus, in a few seconds you can repeat a prayer after me. If you've already prayed that prayer to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you don't need to do it again. You are already saved. But if you've never prayed that prayer before, bow your head and repeat after me. But really mean it with your whole heart. Dear Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and that I've done many wrong things. Please forgive me of my sins. Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross for my sins, that God raised you from the dead and that you are alive today. So I put my whole trust in you as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. That's wonderful if you prayed that prayer with me. You have made the best and the most important decision of your life. And you are now a member of God's family. And we're so proud of you and so excited for you. Now there are two things that you need to do. One, tell your parent or another trusted adult that you've prayed to start a relationship with Jesus. Two, we want to celebrate with you and send you a little gift. So let us know that you prayed by texting the word KID, K-I-D, to 240-269-2100. And welcome to the family of God. All right, welcome back. We just learned about some really important verses from the book of Psalms. Mm -hmm. What did you think? I thought it was amazing. I love the book of Psalms. It's like songs. 
Yeah, absolutely. And I don't know if you knew, but the book of Psalms was written by King David, one of the greatest kings of all time. Oh, so yeah. definitely there are some super important verses in there. Mm -hmm. And in the, today in our lesson, we actually learn that in Psalms, it tells us that we're beautifully and wonderfully created. And that makes me think like, wow, the body that God gave me is unique to me. Mm -hmm. I need to be grateful for it because it's a gift he gave us. Yeah. We also learn to, to put our hope into God, which is super important because God really just wants our hearts. He wants us to, to know that he wants us to trust God with whatever plan he has for us. And there are definitely other verses like that in Psalms. So should we always read or continue to read the book of Psalms? I think so. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Now, it makes me think, I have a question for you, Andrea. Are you ready? Okay. I think she's ready. What's something you can do this week to worship God? Hmm. I mean, I think I can sing my favorite worship songs to praise God. Definitely. That's like the best way because I can listen to music whenever. Absolutely. Worshiping God is super important. In fact, that's part of our big idea, which is we, we can, can worship, worship by putting our hope in God. In God. <laughs> Absolutely. Right. So... I hope you have your crackers and juice ready yes. because Miss Andrea is going to lead us in worship. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, I have communion. I mean, communion not is worship. a form of worship. Fair. I think. Yeah. All right, Big I got you some too. Thank you. So when you guys are ready, we're going to go ahead and take our bread, which represents the body of Christ, which was broken on the cross for us. And we're going to pray. Father God, thank you so much for the sacrifice that you made for your son Jesus for us, um, in which he showed us his love for us. And we're gonna eat this in remembrance of his body on the cross. And then we'll get our juice ready, which represents the blood of Jesus, which was shed on the cross. And we drink this as a reminder that all of our sins are forgiven once we come before him, thanks to his sacrifice. Um, so we can go ahead and drink. And we thank you again, Father, for your sacrifice and that we know that all of our sins have been forgiven by your sacrifice. And um, we love you. We praise you. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Wow, I feel great. I feel great too. But I have another question. Okay. How often should we do communion? As many times as the Holy Spirit leads you to. Oh, great answer. So here at Church of the, Church of the Redeemer, we do this about once a month. Mm -hmm. But if you feel the need to do it more than that, you, can, you certainly can. Definitely. Okay, now we're going to play a fun game with my phone. It's called, do you know what it's called, Andrea? I don't know what it's called. It's called Guess the Word. And okay. I'm going to have an item on my forehead. And Andrea is going to describe it, and I'm going to try to guess it. Okay. Oh, you guys can play too. You just need the Guess the Word app. So we're going okay. to start with the food category. Okay. All right. I'm going to press it, and I'm going to press play. Okay. Can you guys see? Pizza. No. Strawberries. <laughs> okay. Tap to continue. Oh, one second. Oh my goodness. Um, Spaghetti. Can I talk? And you eat it at cookouts? And Barbecue. It's yellow. Ribs. Corn. Close? Corn on the cob. No. It tastes like what? It's. It's. Something. Corn. Barbecue. No. Barbecue. Corn. It, it's natural flavor. Nat onions. <laughs> the natural flavor of corn. Natural flavor of corn. Like. Is it spicy? What is it? You can pass. Salt. No. Corn. Corn tastes like corn. <laughs> what else would it taste like? Do you want to go to the next one? Let's go to the next okay, one. Okay, I do you think you swipe up. up. Okay, this you eat at Thanksgiving. Turkey. And it's a dessert. Pie. What kind? Raspberry. No. Pumpkin. Yes. Down. Okay. Oh, this is another dessert and it's French. And it's got one little strip Croissant. of chocolate on top, and the oh. inside is filled with cream. Croissant. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, it's replaying the game that we just played. Had I known it was gonna be on camera. It was recording a second. too. <laughs> oh, I didn't even know what that. 
I knew what you were talking about. I just didn't know. Okay, so I got one of those, one out of three. Oh, I got zero out of three. No, I swiped well, no, the wrong you way. Did, okay. You did get one. Okay, so the okay. first one was sweet corn. The second one was pumpkin ah. pie. And the third one was chocolate eclair. Okay. Okay, are we what doing food do again want? or we another can, we can one? Do, food again, please. <gasps> do you want to do K-pop? No, I don't, know I don't think I'd be able to. Hmm, let's do I think I need animals. to learn more about food. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Flip down for correct, flip up to skip. We're not gonna record. Okay. Up to skip, right? Roar. Lion. Jungle. Close. Jaguar? Cat. Uh, panther. Jungle. Jaguar is a cat. No. A tiger. Yes. Okay, I think it's down. Make sure they can see. Are you acting it it's out? It's a berry. It's a berry? But yes. this is an animal. Bear? Ah, uh, it's not an animal. Po koala? It's not it's an animal? It's something you eat that's not meat. But it's an animal category. <laughs> it's a type of berry. A strawberry? No. Raspberry, boysenberry. Yes, yes, raspberry. Oh, okay. Okay, this is an animal. Small, rodent-like. Rat. There's a Mouse. movie. There's Ratatouille. a movie. Stuart Little? No. <laughs> Alvin. A gerbil. Chipmunk. Yes. Oh, uh, summer. Okay. Oh, it's over. I think it had both the food oh, that makes and the sense. other categories. That makes sense. But I had a lot of fun. Me too. And you guys can have it too. So make sure to stick around and to be, not stick around, make sure to come see us next weekend as we continue our series of Wonderful. Wonderful. All right, see you soon. Bye, guys. Ooh, ooh, ooh.